Yeah, that's okay. Well, I finally got sick and tired of the harassment from the media. So I'm hoping that this interview with you will put an end to that and I can just get back to my normal quiet life. I remember when the little bastard was born. My adopted sister gave birth to Reed Ryan Allen way back in 87 and I was about 23. Her and her husband separated soon after Reed was first arrested when he was about age 12. I'd already moved to Australia but I made sure I saw her and her kid at least once a year. Hearing sound somewhere. Keep rolling. <coughs> <coughs> Look, every family has skeletons in their closet. I'd managed to keep out of the limelight, but when they found Reed's remains just over 12 months ago at a construction site, everything flared up, and next minute people want to interview everyone involved, or well, everyone connected to Reed. They reckon he was probably murdered at least 10 years before they found him. I don't give a shit. <laughs> He's come as far as I'm concerned. I remember as a kid, he used to like to call himself Brandon. After Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee. God knows why. Turned out there was nothing special about him. He was always a bit weird when he was a kid. But he just kept getting weirder and weirder. This guy was just... I don't like kids myself, so make no difference to me. Everyone just kept saying, oh, you know, he's special. He's, he's okay, he's normal, just a little bit different. Well, I'm sorry, the little shit turned out to be a lot more than a little bit different. People have compared him to Ted Bundy. Yeah, I could see that. He was a cunt too. So, sorry, you'll have to cut that bit. Sorry. Look, I thought we agreed that you wouldn't ask me questions about the victims. I'm sorry, but... All I say is this. One ridiculous theory is that all the victims are gathered together somewhere safe. I mean, for fuck's sake! You'll have to cut that bit. The reason I don't like talking about it is it just makes me very angry. He did nothing to help the world make it a better place. Yeah, these psychos out there, they they glorify him like he's someone special. He was not special, he's shit. Just shit. That's it, shit. He took away the lives of at least 22 girls that we know of. He's just scum. Why would you glorify that shithead? You know, it pisses me off to even be pseudo related to him and thank god it wasn't by birth it was by adoption but still if I had my way I would have taken care of the future way back when he was born but the benefit of hindsight eh? yeah well I don't know we'll, we'll try and do the interview but um, yeah I'm frankly I'm getting a bit a bit pissed off at it okay Doing some strange now. Look, I've already made it quite clear to you I'm not going to discuss the victims, okay? In fact, fuck off, I'm, this interview's over. Stick it up your ass. <laughs> fucking, fucking sick of you. Media cunts. You believe this cunt? What's that? You're fucking kidding me. You, you guys are just too fucking much. You wanted an interview about the scumbag, okay? You got your interview. Okay, this son of a bitch killed 23 people. Okay, 23 people. That's 23 fucking lives he affected. I'm sorry, mate, but we had an agreement, you know? That's a real family you're, you're talking about. You know, see these fucking lives. Well, oh. We're talking about 23 real families. You know, I know you've got your job to do, but, you know, I just, I just don't think uh, we can 
proceed with this interview and quite frankly you're wasting my fucking time. <laughs> yep. No, sorry. You you've blown your interview and quite frankly you won't get another chance. I'll make sure of that. Honestly, go sell your fucking paper somewhere else.